welcome to the new version 2.8 update. This time we've got a new themed mode, Zombies Edge, World of Wonder updates, classic mode updates, season updates and more. So what are you waiting for? Let's check them out. Watch out, danger has arrived in Erangel, Livik and Miramar. In Zombies Edge, vast numbers of mutants roam the Aerolith Lab and the surrounding infected areas. Hidden among them are even more powerful mutants. If you want to survive until the end, be sure to memorize the classified information. Based on our observations, they tend to wander around in groups, so please be careful. Furthermore, with the updated physics simulation and ragdoll system, the feeling of defeating mutants is more lifelike than ever. Of course, you also need to keep your eyes peeled for these two powerful zombies, Berserkers and Rippers. The large Berserker has a muscular arm that can switch between a sharp blade and durable armor. It changes its attacks depending on the form. When it's in armored form, the Berserker performs charging attacks. At the same time, it'll expose its weakness. There are also Rippers, which are slender, agile enemies. They continually attack players similarly to an assassin. Hence, you have to watch out for their sharp claws and counterattack by targeting their weak point on the head. After eliminating the zombies, there's a chance of getting mutated weaponry. These items will also spawn in the Airlith Lab. Equip mutation gauntlets to mutate your arms into large gauntlets. The slam attack delivers devastating damage and the zombies can't retaliate when struck. You can also perform Great Smash by charging up, leaping into the air, choosing a landing point, and swiftly descending to deal substantial area damage. Meanwhile, Mutation Blade increases your agility. After equipping it, you can grow a powerful arm blade for wide-range slashing attacks. These slashes deal substantial damage and cause greater stun to the zombies. You can perform a wild dash by charging in the direction of the crosshair and inflicting a certain amount of damage to enemies along the way. It can be used to move around quickly. In Erangel, Livik, and Miramar, there's the large Aerolith lab and small outposts. In the lab, the core source of the infection, the Aerolith, is ready to spawn a Rage Berserker. It attracts the mutants in the lab to absorb them and make itself stronger. Stop the Aerolith's absorption to weaken it. Defeat the Rage Berserker to get lots of great supplies. Furthermore, an advanced item will also spawn in the Aerolith lab, the Maglev Hoverboard. This hoverboard can travel on both land and water to quickly traverse the map. Hurry and give it a try. Of course, the Aerolith Lab still seems to be hiding more secrets. As the match progresses, the appearance of the Lab and the Aerolith will gradually undergo changes. I wonder what they'll be? Be sure to keep an eye out on the changes. In this WoW update, we'll be introducing new PvE gameplay and enemy types. Both players and creators are welcome to give them a try. What's more, we've updated numerous aspects of the editor, including the character switch device, many gameplay devices, interactive objects, decorative and building objects, and map templates. We've also made some improvements to gameplay devices, game parameter settings, and editor features to provide both players and creators alike a better gaming and creative experience. As part of our classic mode updates, we've added a new melee weapon, the Dagger. It has new animations for grip, movement, and attack. The Dagger can also inflict additional damage on zombies and has satisfying attack feedback. When facing Berserkers and Rippers, you can quickly apply a stun effect and work together with teammates to attain victory. It's a powerful tool for eliminating zombies, so what are you waiting for? Go try it out now! At the same time, we'll be introducing a new tactical attachment, the Tactical Gunpowder Tool, which provides a different kind of experience. After equipping it, you can fire bolts with gunpowder applied to them, which cause a delayed explosion after impact. This can also enhance your prowess in battling at Zombie's Edge. What's more, the AUG will spawn as a standard firearm on the map, and the FAMAS replaces the AUG as an airdrop firearm. The stats of both firearms will also be adjusted accordingly. The MK-12 is now available on all maps, while the Ace-32 has been enhanced. Other classic updates. Please follow our official PUBG mobile community for new updates. We can all check them out together! Finally, the new Cycle 5 Season 14 is here, with even more season missions and fabulous rewards. New gameplay, new challenges. Let's get a bite of victory. Explore the mystery of the strange powers. Let's go! For more details on the version update, please follow our official PUBG mobile community. Winner, winner, chicken dinner! See you next time!